Hi there, thanks for joining us. As you can tell, I've sectioned off a huge part of this shop floor in preparation to paint my van. Not only does this van look and feel like a sports car, but it also sounds like a sky train. Okay, perfect. Now that I've just about completely destroyed all of my prep on the floor, I'm gonna have to touch a few things up with tape before we get started. Sanding is by far the least favorite part, and also the most important part of every project. <laughs> is something that can be caused by sanding the van down outside, thinking that you're going to uh, be painting it the next day, then having it sit in the rain for a few days. This is why they call it flash rust, I believe, because it happens when you're least expecting it. If this is about 80, this is about 120 or 140 or so. Um, as you can see, I have both hands full, so I can get the worst of it out and then smooth that out afterwards. Well, the sun has just come out as if to say, wow, good work getting that whole van all sanded up using several stages of sandpaper. And if we just kind of cruise around, you can see that although it would look pretty sweet to leave it like that, we are just about ready for paint. Kind of a nice, uh, nice little tip when you're when you're taping stuff off. Instead of trying to go inch by inch by inch by inch, sticking it tiny bits at a time, you can flip your tape upside down with the sticky part out. You can drop it in there. You can kind of just give it a little bit of slip back and forth, lock it into place. It'll save you several months. Okay, so what we got going on now is we've got all the tape, all the detailed part of the, the prep finished on this side of the van. Now, and you're thinking, well, we're not going to paint yet. Well, you're absolutely right, we're not. Now we can get the paper on there. I have three different sizes of paper that I'll be using. The largest one is to cover large surface area. The step down from that is to cover an area that's smaller than the big roll. And this is the smallest roll, which is going to cover even less than the, than the uh, medium roll. This is the paper we're going to be using today. Now that we've got the tape and paper guns loaded up, we're ready to start covering some surface area. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can see just what we have the hood open, I may as well have to take this opportunity to point out what we got going on under the hood. Got alcohol fuel here. This is basically a, uh, a jet motor. Um, you can see we've got several intake, uh, air intake vents here. All along here, there's one there. You gotta open up the hood. So this way you can get your paper right underneath the hood and right underneath the hood here. Drop the hood. You got your paper way, way underneath there so you're not gonna worry about getting any overspray. All right, so we've got the van all prepped. I've kind of gone a little bit excessive on this. Um, you know, don't want this to look like a joke. Uh, although if we were to drive it as it is now, that would that would look like a bit of a joke. What we got going on in the wheel wells here is I've I've gone with one piece throughout the uh, with the with the long uh, paper. I've I've went through there with the one piece. And um, that's actually two layers of paper on the tires, um, so there, there's no paint getting through there. Because guess what, I'm not going to be that guy on the highway that has a white dot on his tire that confuses other, other motorists and causes accidents. So this is looking great. I've just got to cut the keyholes out with an X-Acto knife, which is coming up quick. You'll see that I had to... Uh, do some rust treatment there. I noticed a little bit of rust. And then if you look up top, uh, that's again flash rust that we're taking care of.
Okay, uh, we are ready to have our little product rundown. I'm going to be using a airless sprayer. I was going to use an HPLP, which I have, but um, I just I wanted to try using a a fine tip. This is a 410 tip, so that's a wide pattern, but it's a finishing tip, so it's going to be really really uh, thin, <clears throat> and I'm going to run a fair bit of pressure on here. So we'll put that aside. Um, of course, we have some xylene here. Xylene is uh, it, it's what we're going to use to to thin the paint down a little bit, give it a little bit more open time, a little easier to work with, so it doesn't dry up as fast. This is commonly used as eye drops and mouthwash as well. This here paint we have is called Sure Chem. This is a specifically for doing gloss paint on metal and aluminum. And this is an industrial grade product that they paint metal pipes with and everything else. So I think that's pretty close uh, to it. Get yourself an empty five gallon bucket so you can box all of your product together and you're going to thin this down. Of course we've got some adequate breathing protections and stuff that's going to smell quite, quite delicious actually. So yeah, we'll load up the tip here, we'll get some paint through the lines, check it out! You'll see that the, the gloss, the, the gloss resin in here kind of has a little bit of a uh, peach tinge to it, well it's, that, that goes away as it dries. You always want to take care of your pump. You want to make sure you get uh, you get lots of uh, lots of oil in there. This is just pump oil. Okay, we are all set up. I'm so excited to finally do this. All that work for something that'll be done in a few minutes. Well, of course, for some obvious reasons, you're gonna start with the roof with the roof. Um, I'm going to do that for two reasons. One, because I don't want to kill the finish of, of uh, paint that I've recently put on the sides. I don't want to put a mist on that. i will ruin the finish. I want to have it nice and shiny and I don't really care if I get some, some cloudiness up there for the over sprayer to do it here. The other thing is I want to get a feeling of that tip. I want to really, really know what my distance is going to be and how fast I need to move to get the coverage that we want. The last thing we want to do is have any sags. So let's get to it. So you'll see some light spots. You can kind of see through it a little bit, but uh, all in all, got a nice shiny first coat on it, and uh, we're gonna do two more light coats on it. But that is it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. What we have here is a five-in-one 
that I pulled out of my fanny pack, which I've just taken off. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove some prep. Well, I just kind of want to get a visual of what the van's going to look like. Let's talk to it. All the fine tuning tape that we did in the last demonstration is going to be the biggest key here because it's all in the details. Okay, we're on the last little touch up here. What I've done is I've painted all the wheels, the wheel mags, and the little beauty caps. Um, this just going to pop back on. I, uh, I wanted to make sure I had lots of product behind it and close, but we'll shoot over here those bolts off someday. Put that back on there. Figure while we're at it, we may as well do a touch up coat in place because we have a little bit of product left over. The more the merrier. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm.